hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and y'all we got a lot of things to talk about because i'm back at home so um, i did just graduate from college i do have a little graduation vlog if you want to check that out but i'm back at home and have my full stash okay um so yeah forgive me for the setup right now i am in the process of rearranging my room and figuring out where i want things to be i'm getting some new furniture so y'all are gonna see me um play around with the the setup a bit because it just doesn't look like makes room anymore so yeah um we are going to have a giveaway in this video and i'm going to tell you guys all the rules all the details it's going to be after i um apply the products so it'll be like when i'm finished doing my wet hair before i show you guys my dry hair so we are doing a giveaway and this is going to be the first video in my week of uploads so we are celebrating my one year on youtube my one year is june 12th so it's not going to be the day that you guys get this video but you're going to have a different video every day that week because who knew i would have right now we're at 431 subscribers and i'm so so grateful and who knew that i would have that many subscribers in a year like hello like but we can talk a little bit more let's get into these products so y'all today we are going ahead and getting into some more of my eden body work stash so we're going ahead and we're going to try to paya and castor foam conditioner and the nourishing curl jam so y'all i've had these products y'all know i have a ton of products but i've never tried these so i was like why not and they smell like summertime to me so i was like girl pull them out so i'm gonna go ahead and begin with the foam conditioner which i have never used but i do have the nourishing curl jam um and i did use this once before i used it a couple weeks ago because y'all know that i like to use one new product every wash day and i just wanted to make sure i knew with this product how it operated before i went in with the foam conditioner because i feel like this is going to throw me for a loop because what is a foam conditioner so i'm gonna go ahead section my hair off y'all know the drill we're gonna apply the leave-in oil to my scalp i'll probably seal it in with the oil because this is a foam and Y'all know I do my hair once a week. So let me go section my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So my hair is all sectioned off. I have my first section here. I should have not worn a black shirt because y'all can't really see my hair the way I want y'all to. But here we are. So y'all know that on this channel, I like to show you guys what I used um, to cleanse and condition my hair. So, so um, y'all, I haven't filmed in like two weeks. I know that it doesn't seem like that for you guys because I... I pre-filmed videos so that it wouldn't feel like y'all missed anything but in that meantime i have just been trying to use up products that i had already had open y'all know so today i went ahead in with the chocolate kinks and curls green clay and mint clay wash that's what that looks like i do have a review on this and i do really like this um i wish it did have a little tingle on the scalp but it does not i think i have maybe one or two more uses in this which is very surprising because it's an eight ounce and i use a lot of clay when i do it but it doesn't feel like i'm using that much when i'm using this so cute and then i went ahead in with the honey's handmade purple sweet potato and peppermint whipped shampoo which i'm not really a fan of i do have a review on this uh it's supposed to be a whip shampoo but it doesn't have any leather and for me it really just feels like a co-wash so that's how i used it today just after my clay um like i said i do have a review on this as well as the matching conditioner but so the matching conditioner is the pur purple sweet potato um and basil vitamin enriched hair mask and i do like this it leaves my hair very soft very supple and it's it's pretty good i don't know if i would repurchase it but it is a good mask so before i go in with the leave-in i have y'all know that i like to oil my scalp over here so this is the curls blueberry and mint tea scalp treatment so i'm gonna just go ahead put that on a whole section and then we'll go ahead to applying the leave-in but that's what my hair is looking like just to start off and it does look pretty good and very shiny and that clay wash leaves my hair very soft okay y'all so let's get into this foam conditioner it is eight ounces and the same typical packaging as any other foam i think the packaging is beautiful it gives very much summer and we outside this summer y'all so i love the packaging 
So it says that it is sulfate free vitamin blend styling conditioner for smoother, softer hair. And it claims that it's going to reduce frizz and tame flyaways. It doesn't say anything about moisture, though, which uh, is a little bit scary. So it says it's going to be smoother. It's going to have your hair soft reduce frizz and tame flyaways and i'm hoping that it'll give me at least a little bit of moisture but it says in how to use generously apply on damp hair chef down to the ends do not rinse that's literally the directions so it doesn't tell you how much it doesn't tell you on wet or dry hair and i've noticed that that's a thing with eden body works is that their directions they leave it up to you so uh, <laughs> Thankfully, um, I kind of know how to operate my hair products, but this I feel like might turn into like just a roller set type of foam because I've never had a foam that I feel like moisturizes my hair, you know, like, I don't know. But this is what it looks like. So a typical, you know, foam. It is moving a bit, but I think that's typical to most foams. This line does smell delicious. If you have smelled it, then you know this line smells so, so good. Um, okay, so just going off of first impressions, I did not need the three pumps that I did, but y'all know that I'm extra. And y'all can see that just sitting on my hair alone. This smells so good, oh my goodness. I can't say that my hair feels overly moisturized you can feel a little bit of moisture going in but it doesn't feel like anything crazy so that's what it's looking like just the first one and my curls definitely are um starting to pop a bit i don't know how much these products are off the top of my head i know that i bought them during eden body works cinco de mayo cinco was it cinco de mayo I think I bought these during the Cinco de Mayo sale. So, um, and if you're new to that, they have the products, all of their products are $5. But yeah, that's what my hair is looking like. And my hair does not feel very moisturized, but the last time I did use the um, Curl Jam, it seemed to have a bit of moisture, but I am gonna go ahead and lock my hair in. So I'm trying to finish up this Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 2. This is the oil that came with it. It's the Creamy Corn Silk. And there is just that little itsy bitsy left bit left. So I've been trying to, you know, just use that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just seal that leave-in in yeah my hair doesn't feel moisturized i want to love eating body work so much but i've tried two of their leave-in conditioners and neither one of them do what i really need them to do so that's what my hair is looking like after the leave-in and oil are applied and any definition that i had is gone so hmm this will be interesting but i'm gonna go ahead and just keep applying the leave-in conditioner and then when it's time to style i'll come back and we'll talk about how this leave-in conditioner felt but also let's get into the coral jam so see you guys in a minute okay you guys so i'm back and let me show you what my hair looks like after going all the way around like no definition nothing it looks dry no product so i can tell you guys right now I won't be using that leave-in conditioner as a leave-in. I'm gonna have to use that as a regular foam because I didn't get any moisture out of that. What I will say is that a little bit went a long way. So I ended up doing two pumps per um, subsection. So I do quadrants and split them in half if you're new around here. But yeah, I'm like right here. So I will be using this as like a regular foam. Maybe as a styler, it'll do better. But um, as a leave-in, mm -mm, I don't even know why Eden Body Works put that on the label because that did nothing nothing so i did go ahead and fill up my spray bottle with warm water and hopefully that'll activate something in this because um this ain't gonna work but it's okay we're gonna go ahead in with the nourishing curl jam from the same line and i love the packaging it's so cute but i needed to do more for me <laughs> okay um so it says styling and conditioning moisturizing jelly for textured and or curly hair and it says it's supposed to smooth sleek styling and it has a light hold and it says how to use 
apply to hair style. I get um, leaving the directions up to the user, but apply to hair and style is, it's very vague. And it's almost irritating because like, am I supposed to use a lot? Um, like what am I, who wrote these directions? Uh, y'all and I'm already irritated because like what is this like I feel like my hair is gonna be dry um I'm not happy okay not happy um but as you guys can see I told you guys that I used this once before and it looks like I didn't use it at all so and it is very much a jelly type pudding you guys can see it moving a bit I think that it has a medium hold I didn't get a light hold like it feels very light going on to your hair but um it lasted me a good bit of the week it didn't last me a whole week but it did last me a cute three three days so like I said I'm going in and I'm gonna spray my hair my hair is still damp you couldn't tell um, but I am going to spray my hair down a bit more in hopes to reactivate the product. But my hair feels literally like nothing. Like literally. My hair is dry already. And I really want to go ahead and put something else on top of it. But I don't want to mess up this review. So we're just going to roll with the punches. So when I re-wet my hair, that's what it's looking like. But I wish that y'all could feel my hair because my hair is dry. So I'm going to go in with about this much of the curl jam since it doesn't say how much to put, apply to wet or damp hair, none of that. Um, so it does, you know, feel pretty good on my hands. It just feels like a cream. It doesn't necessarily feel like a cream gel or a jelly as they described it. But, you know, it did have a cute amount of hold. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this and do a braid out. I was going to detangle my hair, but um, that foam didn't have much slip as most foams, you know, don't. So I'm just going to rake my fingers through and just hope for the best. But I want to do a braid out and we're going to see just exactly how this goes. So that's what it looks like with the two products on there together. And it is pretty white. Um... I'm not really worried about flakes. My hair really doesn't flake all that often. Um, and especially being that these two are from the same line, I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a simple braid out, y'all. I will um, turn on some music for you guys, but y'all don't need to hear me say anything about a braid out because y'all know that I'm braid out bae. And then right after this, when I'm done um, styling my hair, then I'll come back, we'll talk giveaway. I'm back and these are my wet results um I literally just finished these last two so it's a little white on that side but uh, this is an experience so um y'all that foam is a no for me that's not a leave-in that's a styling foam so I probably will try that again as a styler um the only thing that really saved that style or this style was that curl jam um it was pretty moisturizing that my hair was suffering okay um so y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel about that leave-in but enough talking y'all let's talk about the giveaway so like i was telling you guys it is my one year anniversary on youtube so i was like all right sis we gotta do something for my loyal subby so let me show you guys what you can win so i have two products here and they are actually from do grow it is the mega thick shampoo and it's the volumizing formula it's 10 ounces never opened and then i also have the do grow deep down intense penetrating conditioner and it's also eight ounces so these are the two products that i am going to be giving away as well as a couple samples but i'm not going to tell you all the samples because I don't know if it's only me, but I love to see the little random things that I get in packages that I'm not expecting. So I do have a couple samples that will go in the giveaway box. So 
these are the two products that I'm going to be giving away. So, so let's talk about rules for the giveaway. They're also going to be in a description box down below, but I, you know, want to tell you guys anyway. So rule number one is, is that of course you need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, join our Kiki Crew fam. We would love to have you. We are growing and it's, it's, such a blessing to watch the channel grow and meet new people through this avenue so yeah you guys know i'm so thankful that i have you guys i love you guys so much okay so rule number one be subscribed to the channel rule number two follow me on instagram if you're not already following me on instagram it's the same as my youtube minx kinks so rule two be subscribed to the instagram page and rule number three very short sweet and simple like this video i need you guys to engage with this video so go ahead and like it and then our last rule is going to be number four tell me something that you enjoy about my channel or something you would like to see on my channel and that is literally it so be subscribed to the youtube be following me on instagram like this video and comment something that you either like about my channel or would like to see on my channel and that is literally it so this giveaway is going to be in the u.s only um i made that mistake my first giveaway so i told you guys that i'm going to be doing a week of uploads so the last video is going to be on friday so that is going to be when the giveaway closes so in your comment down below make sure you put your instagram handle as well so that i'll be able to look and make sure that you're following me on instagram but those are the rules super short super simple super easy so yeah y'all i'm gonna go ahead let my hair air dry i don't have anything to do for the next two days can y'all see how long my braids are hitting though like come on i don't anticipate this to take long to dry it's already drying out pretty nicely now i mean that usually happens when i use a foam so yeah y'all i'm probably gonna let this dry for a day or two i don't have anything to do so yeah then i'll come back let you guys know what my hair is feeling like but um just going off of what i feel right now it's not my favorite combo but yeah let me know down below if you've tried these before and chit chat with me in the comments because i i have some thoughts Okay, you guys, so I am back and these are my final results. Get into them. So yeah, y'all, um, these are my final results. My hair feels very light, very airy. Um, I will definitely agree that the styler, the Curl Jam, definitely is a soft hold. Definitely softer than the first time I did it. Uh oh, my edges are coming up. Um, but we're gonna go through, talk about each product really quickly because I need to get ready for work, and um, I'll let you guys know my final results. So first, I went in with the Papaya Caster Foam Conditioner, and y'all know that I was really not a fan of this. This didn't have any moisture for me. For it to say that it's a leave-in conditioner, mm mm, not for me. Um yeah no not for me i won't be using this as a leave-in conditioner again if anything i would use this you know just as a regular foam you know styler so i will give this a try again maybe i'll give it a try with the um the coconut leave-in which i also wasn't really a fan of but i'll definitely be trying this as a styler so if you guys want to see this as a revisiting products that i didn't like just comment it down below and um if you paired this with something let me know down below because y'all know i have everything and then next I went in with the Nourishing Curl Jam and um, y'all this is the second time using this product and I just really find that I don't have to use much. This Curl Jam is what saved this style. So y'all can see that my hair is super shiny and I will give that credit to the foam because my hair seemed you know shinier than usual with the foam but all the moisture came from this product right here. I the definition like literally everything um i don't know like would i repurchase these no probably not you guys know that i'm just typically more of a gel styler type of girl but this is actually pretty good i think that these two under wet line could be very interesting 
So if you guys are interested to see that combo, please comment it down below. Um, but I actually don't mind this styler here. It was, you know, just okay. So I'll try to leave a pinned comment um, down below just to let you guys know how long the style lasted. But also you should be following me on Instagram. But my hair does feel elongated, like more than usual. I don't know, like I don't know if it's just me or what, but my hair definitely feels pretty long. I don't know my hair is growing so maybe that's it too but yeah I wasn't super impressed with this line I hate to say that um I don't know I've just been finding that with my Eden Body Works products they're just okay to me like I think that they're great starter natural hair products they're black owned they're inexpensive everything that I've purchased has been under ten dollars you can get them on the ground Target Sally's so if you're a new natural I think that they're definitely worth the try but for me I know my hair and I just know that I've tried better products so um of course I'm gonna use them up because y'all know I've been trying to use products up anyway but this isn't my favorite braid out like it's really it's very pretty and very shiny but I just know that it's so soft that it's probably not gonna last all week so yeah you guys those are my final results let me know if you've tried this line down below I've heard really good things about that scalp cleanser which I do really want to pick up but I think I'm going on a no buy I just have too much stuff and I need to get through stuff so I actually don't think I'm going to be participating in Black Friday this year I just have too much stuff like y'all can it's out of hand at this point so yeah you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video please go ahead subscribe join the giveaway we would love to have you here on the channel and i will see you guys tomorrow for the week of uploads stay tuned all week because i have some hot fire coming for y'all so i hope that you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in my next one bye